story about a bunch of birds. Like me. Well, not exactly like me. I'm a crow. They're swans. Well, of course, they're not really swans. They're princes. Hey, I'm getting ahead of myself here, so where should I start? I guess with once upon a time in a faraway country, there lived a king. He had 11 sons and one daughter, Eliza. And if you're up on your math, you will know that these were 12 lucky kids. Except for one thing. Their mother had died when Peter, the littlest prince, was just a baby. Join in the game, Terry Teru. Here's the mask, I'll play it with you. Brothers all come celebrate. Father is coming. Pick up your feet, Teru Terry. Why we're glad it's easy to see. He's been away, he's back today. He'll soon be here, so sing hooray! Let's face it, these kids had a nice life. That was all about to change, because their father was bringing home a surprise. I'm having a ball to read to Roo, dressing up and playing with you. Eleven brothers all for me to dance with and sing with. We can pretend to Roo to Rick, be a rooster, donkey, or pig. Guess what kind of surprise the king was bringing? That's right, a new mother. Thistle and thorn, smiling broad from ear to ear, he's lying to see us. Maybe he brought a silver ball, golden coins for one and for all. Now he's home to root to Take a good look. What do you think? Is she gonna be a nice mother? <laughs> Majesty. My dear. Here they are, my dear. Hello, my little chicks. You see? I promised you a surprise. Meet your new mother, Queen Hildegard. She's our new mother? Pleased to meet you, Your Majesty. Kids, repeat after me. Good day, Mummy. Good day, Mummy. My dear, this is my eldest son, Christian. Hello. And this is Klaus. Ah. Here are Hans and Newt. This is Herman. Oink. And the twins, Otto and Ferdinand. Cock it -a Here are Johan. Justin and August, triplets as you see. <laughs> Henry. This is my youngest chick, Peter. <gasps> and this one, here, this one is my adored daughter, Eliza. She was like a mother to all the boys. How sweet. They're just children. Come, let's go. Eliza, what are she we going to do? She tired from the She's long trip. You know how far it is. Don't worry, brothers. I'm sure she's nicer than she seems. Eliza's Come on. right. Yeah. Christian, I'm gonna get you. Oh, yeah? Well, we'll see about that. She's coming, it's a bed! Quiet! Stars in the heaven that shine tonight. Won't you watch over us here? Until the sun is. 
Queen Hildegard was not exactly the motherly type. In fact, she couldn't stand those kids. Let's face it, she was a witch. A real witch. <laughs> Take a pinch of this. And a dash of that. The cup of trouble. And then watch it bubble. Now for the pièce de résistance. Moody, nody, pody, woody. Show yourself, my little toady. Don't be shy, my little darling. Ah, there you are. Come to Mama. Come here. You will sit on the girl's head. Make her as stupid as you are, Ribbon. And you, my sweet, you will sit on her forehead. Make her as ugly as you are. And you, my precious one, you will sit on her heart. Make it as cold and inhuman as yours is, Ribbon. Let's go! Here, sit on her head. Sit on her forehead, that's it. You, there on her heart. She's too good. She's turned my beautiful darlings into ugly roses. Well, I'll take care of her. Ha! <laughs> when I get through, no one will recognize her. Dirt and grime, bat juice and slime. Change this girl into something sublime. At least in my eyes. <laughs> now we'll see how your father adores you! <laughs> get up! Get up! Get out of here! Little chicks indeed! Evil eggs hatch in my head! Dark and greedy birds of prey! Beat your cruel wings and fly! Boys by night, vultures by day! That's it! That's it! Yes! Yes! No! No! Not swans! I hate Away with you, man! Fly! Fly! You nasty slug! You can't hide from me! Out! Out! Fly! Fly away! Out! Eliza! Eliza, help me! Come on, Eliza! Get Eliza! Help me! She can't help you. She can't help anyone. Forget about your precious sister. Out! I've taken care of her! Out! 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 Out with all of you! Ever come back? Or I'll slit those fancy throats of yours, pluck out all your fine white feathers, and feed you to your stupid father! <laughs> He'll be stuffing on swan soup! <laughs> See? I told you this was a story about birds. And how about that queen? What a piece of work she is. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. The next morning, the king and queen got up like nothing had happened. <laughs> 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 Poor.
poor Eliza. She didn't have a clue. Her whole life had changed overnight, and she didn't even know it. I have joy and delight with no end. For each flower and tree is my friend. And each bird that sings on the bough is teaching me how sublime life can be. Butterfly flutters by It's as sweet as a kiss from the sky Cause I know that people who care Will always be there As glad as can be Cause I'm me Life is a song So Here. Hmm. Eliza and her brothers weren't the only ones to fall under Queen Hildegard's evil spell. Where are the children? Why are they so late? Hmm? Don't what? you remember? You don't have any children. Sorry I'm late, Papa. Papa? Where are my brothers? B brothers? Brothers? What do you mean? Who let this beggar girl in? Girl, Papa, I'm your daughter, Eliza. What? Don't you recognize me? Yeah. Papa. Oh, don't touch me. How dare this dirty girl call me Papa? Throw her out. Make her go away. Be gone. Set the dogs on her. That'll take care of it. After her. Don't let her get away. Father. Boy, had Queen Hildegard done a number on the king. No. He didn't even recognize his own daughter. Wallows, where are my brothers? What am I going to do? Oh, I can't stay here anymore, that's for sure. Goodbye, my loyal It was her, all right. Poor Eliza. Well, you wouldn't look like yourself either if you'd been doused with O D Dode. <laughs> Eliza didn't know where to go, what to do. She walked and walked till she was too tired to take another step. Then she lay down right there in the forest and went to sleep. While she was sleeping, she dreamt about her brothers and about the way things used to be. She dreamt about the stories she used to read them from their favorite picture book. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Brother? <laughs> oh. <gasps> the stories all had happy endings. Then, suddenly, the dream turned dark. And in a flash, Eliza saw what the evil Queen Hildegard had done to her brothers. While Eliza was looking for her brothers, her brothers were looking for her. Hey, looky here! Swans! Well, ain't they something? Swans? I warned you! Shoot them, guard! Kill them! For each swan! 
one you kill, you'll get a pouch of gold. Shoot those evil ones! What's wrong, little girl? Oh, does that voice sound familiar? Princes aren't the only ones that can change their shapes. That's right. Hmm. Crows can turn into old ladies. You didn't think I was just gonna sit back and narrate this story, did ya? I plan to play a big part from now on. My brothers are lost. Ah, your brothers. Have you seen them? Can't say I have. There's 11 of them. They're princes. Princes? Yes. I have to find them. Please help me. Well, I haven't seen 11 princes, but I did see something interesting. Yesterday, I saw 11 swans and golden crowns flying from the castle. Just like my dream. The queen tried to kill them, but they got away. Last I saw, <clears throat> they were uh, <clears throat> headed out to sea. Did they fly away forever? What? Does it look like I know everything? Why don't you come in the house and rest a while and have a few pecks? Uh, I, I mean, a bite to eat. Call, call. And then you, you can go look for your brothers. Eliza! Eliza? Eliza! That's our Sachin Gold! Oh, fire! You missed again, old fool! Get some glasses! Many years passed. Long, lonely years. Eliza spent all her time by the sea, still hoping to find her brothers. It takes a lot of patience to make a hard rock into a beautiful, perfect, Smooth pebble. Bright waves. Thank you for all you have taught me. What Eliza didn't know was that her brothers were looking for her as often as they could, which, as it turns out, wasn't all that often. Aim and kill them! Kill them! You see, Queen Hildegard had driven them from the castle, and they had to make a new home, far, far away, across the ocean. But once every year, they braved the muskets and cannons and returned to look for their sister. Hey, look, brothers. What's that on the ground over there? It looks like a girl to me. Maybe it's our sister, Eliza! Eliza! No, it's definitely not Eliza. She's much too big to be Eliza. Well, she's grown up by now. But she doesn't look anything like Eliza. No, she's got dark hair and Eliza's blonde. And she's so dirty. She looks like a beggar girl. You're right. A swan's feather. I guess it's not her. Brothers! Brothers! Come back! It's me! Eliza! They didn't recognize me. And why should they? I'm so changed. Poor creature. Who did this to you? Oh, don't worry. I'll help you. I'll help you! No, don't! What's happening? I can't believe it. Oh. How wonderful! Maybe I should jump. Maybe that would take the curse off me. I wonder. It's worth a try. No. I'm afraid. It's such a long way down. I'm 
here, brothers. I'm here. Come to me. Brothers, oh, at last we're together. You're not our sister. You have dark hair. Eliza was blonde. No. You, you can't be our sister. Oh, oh no. It's just not possible. Yeah, I mean, how could you be our sister? Don't you understand? The evil queen bewitched us all. I am your sister, Eliza. There must be some way I can prove it to you. I know. I can. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Oh, my dear brothers. I'm not the only one who's changed. Christian, Klaus, August, Justin, Johan, oh, and Peter. We couldn't stay here any longer. It was too dangerous. The Queen's guns shooting at us everywhere we went. So we moved to a beautiful new country, far, far across the sea. But we kept coming back to look for you. Yes, and in spite of that witch and her evil threats. We came back every chance we could. You see, all day, all of us have to fly as swans. And every night, when the sun sets, we turn back into ourselves again, which makes traveling from our new home to here very, very difficult. Luckily, there's a little tiny island in the middle of the sea where we can stop for the night. And now, at last, we finally found you! But soon, you see, we have to say goodbye. You have to understand, the Queen will be after us. If we stay, we only endanger ourselves and you. Brothers, dear brothers, don't leave me here. Take me with you, please. I really wish we could, but I just can't carry you that far. The only way we could take you is if we had a boat or a ship. No, we don't have a boat or a ship, but we can make a net. And together, we can carry her with us to our new home. It'll be easy. Come on, let's just try it. See? I told you it'd be smooth sailing once we got away from that, that, that witch. I mean that evil Queen Hildegard. Evil! Uh away from me? Ha! Just you wait. Ha! <laughs> Let's not get too cocky. We've still got a long way to go. Christian, why do you always think the worst? You're gonna bring us bad luck. Bad luck? I'll give you bad luck. Rumble, tumble, grumble, splash. That's it, come on! We must reach the island before dark! Hang on, Eliza! It's hard to make any headway against this wind! Yes, and my feathers are so heavy from the rain, I don't know if I can make it. Let go of the net, brothers! Save yourselves! I'm not afraid! Hurry, brothers! The sun's almost gone! But where's the island? There it is! I see it! We made it! Just in the nick of time. Eliza, how are you? I'm fine. As long as you're all fine. I know what would make us feel better. A song! Yeah, Eliza, a song! Far away beyond the sea Where the skies are fair We can find a happiness If you take me there
appearances in this here uh, story. Well, what have we here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's funny. <laughs> there are always eleven, but now it looks like there's more. It's me. I'm the twelfth. And uh, who are you? Sister Eliza. Ah, uh, yes, I know, I know. Gah. I've heard all about you from a certain old lady. So they, uh, they found you. Yes, <laughs> I suppose you think you're safe now that you're away from Queen Hildegard. Well, I, I hope so. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Hope all you want. You haven't escaped her evil spell yet. Luckily, there is someone who can break that spell. Really? There is? Who is it? Please. Please. Please tell me. What? Does it look like I know everything? <laughs> you. And only you can break that spell. Well, but I don't think you're strong enough to do it. I am. I am. I can do anything. Anything? Well, I don't know about that. What you have to do is very, very difficult. Achoo! Achoo! Lousy rain. That evil queen again. Just know it. Please. We're wasting time. Okay, here goes. Your brothers are taking you to their new home on the other side of the sea. There you will live in a big cave. In front of this cave grows a terrible, terrible plant called a stinging nettle. It pricks and stings like a thousand needles. You must pick this plant with your bare hands. Do they only grow in front of the cave? There, and in graveyards. But the most important thing to remember is you must pick them up with your bare hands. You must gather them up with your bare hands. And then you must mash those hard, sharp thorns into fine, soft thread. It's gonna hurt. But that's not all. Out of this special thread, you must weave 11 shirts, one for each of your brothers. And it's going to be very difficult, very difficult. You must do all this without saying a word. From the moment you start work till the job is done, you must never speak. One word and your brothers will die. So, don't start if you don't think you can finish. And the... And the spell will be broken? The spell will be broken. For my brothers, I will finish. Early the next morning, Eliza and her brothers set out for their new home. Oh, look, brother. 
Sisters, the storm has passed. Yes, it has. Finally, we've escaped from the evil queen. But Eliza knew better. Queen Hildegard was still a part of their lives as long as Eliza's brothers had to keep switching back and forth between swans and princes. By the way, Eliza didn't tell her brothers word one about the nettle shirt or our little treeside chat the night before. She knew they'd just try to talk her out of it, and her mind was made up. She was one determined princess. Here's your new home, Eliza. It's no palace, I'm afraid, but we fixed it up the best we could. <laughs> we always knew we'd find you someday. It's perfect. I don't need a palace. You'll be safe here. Rest, Eliza, and, and don't worry about a thing. We'll go find you some food for your dinner. Just stay here. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, come on, good idea. These must be the nettle plants. What big thorns they have. Ouch! Ouch! Oh! I must be strong for my brothers! Ah! Eliza was as good as her word. From that moment on, she never spoke, not even to her brothers. Her brothers were pretty upset, I can tell you. But after a while, they got used to Eliza not talking. Time passed, those swans flew off every day to find food, and Eliza worked on those nettle shirts of hers. His only friends were a wild pig and her little piglets. Then, one day... Uncle, look. He rode right by without even saying hello to me. It's all right, dear. One day soon, he'll come to his senses and marry you. Mark my words. You'll be sitting on the throne with him in no time. And while you two play tiddlywinks, I will rule in his place. Giddy up. She's just an ordinary beggar girl, can't you see? What's the big deal? There's nothing ordinary about her, can't you see? Please, don't be afraid. Why don't you speak? <laughs> she must be one of those mutes, huh? It's not safe for you here. You must come with me. Your Majesty, I think you're making a big mistake. That night when the princess arrived home, Eliza was gone. Where could she be? We've got to find her right away. She can't have gone far. The king brought Eliza back to his castle. 
where he tried everything to make her fall in love with him. He ordered the royal dressmaker to make her beautiful gowns. Oh, have you ever seen anything so chic? Well, say something, dear. What do you think? Not your style? Hmm? What do you think? It's an amusing little trifle, but, but look at this. Oh, now there's a gown. Look at I that. I hear it's the Ooh. latest thing in <laughs> heaven. What do you think? He even wrote her love songs. And when all else failed, he had a special room fixed up, just like the cave where she used to live. And here are the shirts you were working on. <sighs> You're so mysterious. I know you understand me, and I can sense that you can talk. Why don't you? Just a word. Anything. You can trust me. But that Eliza, she didn't open her mouth. It wasn't that she didn't want to. It's just that she knew that if she said one word before those 11 shirts were done, it would be like a stake through her brother's hearts. Meanwhile, far across the sea, the evil Queen Hildegard was still up to her old tricks. You see, she had an ally in the young king's court. That Hildegard, I tell you she's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Sending a knight, a great knight, to challenge the king for that beggar girl's hand? <sighs> More hot water. Mark my words, I will rule this kingdom yet! Cauldrons. Breastplate. Shadows fill your eyes, keeping you from me, close yet far apart. Where is your heart? You know it isn't right. Are you hiding, mystery girl? Where is your heart tonight? I knew I found heaven right from the start. this mooning over the girl has made the king weak. Defeat him, but do try not to kill him. My niece must be queen. If I found this heaven just wasn't true, 
For me the sun would cease to shine for all time. My future looked empty, now there is you. I love you forever, will you be mine? I hear the poor king doesn't have a chance. That's right. The Black Knight is invincible. Ah! He's been lucky so far, but you know what they say. Third time's the chart. I could, well, you know, keep an eye on her. Hmm? Gather a little information, you know, information. Be your eyes and ears like. Yes, my eyes and ears. I like that. Mm, go. Now. The king had won the tournament, but he didn't know if he had won Eliza's heart. She longed to tell him that he had, but she still couldn't talk. She had one last shirt to finish. That night, after the rest of the castle had gone to sleep, Eliza snuck outside to pick nails in the royal cemetery. <laughs> Eliza wasn't doing anything wrong, but she knew folks might not understand, and she didn't want to have to explain herself, because she couldn't. What's that? Interesting. Very interesting. I must tell Master. Hmm, the cemetery, eh? This is good. It's very good. Yes, Master. Why would she be sneaking around graveyards? Picking nettles? Consorting with ghosts? Unless she's a witch. Yes, a witch. Tell me when it all happens again. Watch. Well, Weeks passed. Eliza thought she had enough nettle thread to finish that last shirt. But she was wrong. Ah! Huh? This boneyard gives me the creeps. She is. Master, wake up! She's in the graveyard! Come, Your Majesty. There's something you must see. And those nettles. 
She uses them for her evil spells. There can be no mistake. She is a witch. Yes, a witch. <laughs> Darling, I know that your heart is good. I can see it in your eyes. But people are saying terrible, terrible things about you. You have to defend yourself. Otherwise, how can I help you? Please, say something. Why won't you speak? Just one word. There's only one possible reason. You must not love me. Eliza wanted to tell the king that she loved him. She wanted to tell him everything. And for one millisecond, she thought about doing it. My darling! Oh, you've come! Talk to me! But then, she remembered her brothers. <clears throat> Your Majesty! You see how it is? The girl's a witch! What? Can't you see it? She's put a hex on you! You have lost your reason. That's nonsense. Fine. You go off on your hunt. We'll talk about this later. Hear ye! Hear ye! Hear ye! A witch has been found in the kingdom, and she has been sentenced to death. Hear ye! Hear ye! Hear ye! She's being held in the tower. Given only bread to eat and nettles to lie on, since she likes them so much. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye! Tomorrow, at sunrise, she'll be burned at the stake. God I save her, her soul. soul! The king, of course, knew nothing about this. Neither did Eliza's brothers, who had been looking for her all this time. A witch in the uh. tower. Uh. Where are your manners, little ones? Eliza? Eliza! Are you in there? Mommy! Mommy! There's a long neck with the crowd! Lucky, lucky, lucky! Eliza? It's you! Any luck, Hans? Oh, she Find her? There was no sign of her. Uh, what about you, Johan? Sorry, Christian. No sign. Hey, hey brothers, brothers! Brothers! I've seen Eliza! You have? Where? Where? She is to be burned at the stake! We must save her! There's no time to lose! Oh, come on. We're on the way! Eleven brothers gone! To save the day! To right a fearful wrong! Just hold on! We'll be there! Don't you despair! Eliza was almost finished with the last shirt.
Things aren't looking too good here. Call. Uh-oh. It's about time someone told the king what's going on. How about it? Any volunteers? Hmm. I guess it's up to me. Excuse me, your majesty, but uh, you're needed back at the castle. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Forgive me. I forgive you, and at last I can speak. I took an oath of silence to save my brothers, and now they're saved, and we're all together. I'm innocent, and I love you with all my heart. You must believe me. I do. moment, the evil queen's power was broken, and Eliza and our brothers were finally free. And Eliza and the king? Well, they got married, of course, and they had 12 children, 11 girls, and one boy. And they all lived happily ever after. It's always like that. I've lived a long time. I've seen a lot of things. And I've told a lot of stories. And that's the way they all end. 